Hey, Mike here with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Suspect by Rebel Bag Company. If you haven't heard of Rebel, you definitely want to pay attention to them and check them out. They have a lot of awesome bags. They have a great lineup of good variety of speeds across their bags, so you definitely want to go check them out. But today we're going to focus on the Suspect. We'll start out with the design here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a fingerprint design right here. It really gives me a, a CSI type vibe, which I think fits perfectly with the model Suspect. They do have different colorways here. Uh, they also have had some other designs that aren't even CSI type theme look bags. They have other different unique designs. So if you don't like this, they have some other ones you can pick up, you can trade people. You know, there's a Facebook group where you can do kind of buying and trading some of the older style bags. And I'll get to that later in the video and show you where to go. Uh, but all in all, I like the design if it's perfect with the suspect name. Material wise, this slow side is the Viking carpet. It's a four speed. It's very controllable. You can, you know, shape shots, cut, sh cut left, right, right to left, roll it, flop it. It's, it's a wonderful material for playing that control style game. So four speed and slow side. Fast side, this is the same fast side as the Pro Sniper, the Deadhead, the Viper. It's a nine speed. It's fast enough to, you know, it's, it's crazy fast. It'll push your anything on the board. It'll slap any board conditions. Uh, there's not much that'll slow this material down. So you've got a four slow, five fat, four slow, nine fast on this bag. The template, this is, I'm gonna call it a medium template bag. It's it's probably maybe ever so slightly on the small side, but because it's not a really full bag, when you throw those blockers, it flattens out and plays a little bigger when it is. So I'm gonna call it a medium template bag, which is really becoming that sweet spot for me. I really, really, really starting to like this medium template style bags. Uh, and again, Phil, it's it's got a fair amount of flop to it for a carpet bag. It really does, which helps with it grabbing the hole and be a little more forgiving when you're a little off left to right, but it's still full enough that you can throw, you know, your rolls, your flops, your cuts with ease. It's really, it's really not a hard bag to shape shots with. So I think they've got just the right amount of fill in here. The actual fill, I can't tell if it's a blended fill. It feel, I, it's mostly that that disc fill, mostly that flat disc fill in here. And what that does is it causes this bag to land a little softer. So if you don't like the bounce of like a Viking or a Tango. This, this by not having that bead fill and having more of the disc fill, it's gonna land a little softer. It takes a lot of that bounce out, but it still allows you to cut to cut your bags, to roll your bags, to shape your shots like you would with more of a, a bead fill. I tend personally tend to like more of a blended bead fill, but I know a lot of people are going more and more to this disc fill. And, and the disc fill gives it a wonderful hand feel, right? You don't feel the beads, it's a very fluid feel in there. I will say on the hand feel, this, this carpet material is not the softest material. So if you like a soft bag, just be aware this material is not that soft. However, for me, it doesn't cause a problem. I, I'm fine with it. I really get used to it pretty quickly. So all in all, the materials used, the fill, the template, everything I think is wonderful and it's perfect for what this bag is designed for. And let's get into what this bag is designed for, the playability. This is a bag that you're going to play a control style game with, right? It's it, you're, you're you're throwing blockers up there, you're putting bags in front of the hole, you're just causing congestion, you're trying to make your opponent make mistakes, and then with this nine swing material, you're gonna flip it over on your third or fourth bag, and you're just gonna clean the mess up, push your bags in, and leave your opponent's bags and outscore them that way. It, this is really not a bag designed to to run bags in the hole. Now you'll watch these clips here. I, I do run bags in the hole quite a bit in here, but that's because I'm playing on an open board. There's no opponents. I'm not trying to cause congestion. And you know, it's not a lot of fun to watch me just throw blocker after blocker after blocker and you know, score five points or six points, right? However, if I'm playing against an opponent and I score six points, but I hold them to three or four, I'm getting points and I'm fine with that. So, and that's where this bag really excels. And, and because this material is so controllable, you can throw that blocker with ease up there. Throw that bag up there, stop it. You get your blocker up there. And it's it's just enough fill that it, you don't have to really go aggressive to collect it. You just catch, catch this corner, you're gonna drag both bags in. So you can throw this bag a little more over on your opponent's side. You know, you take the center line of the hole and just leave a little bit of a corner, a little bit of that bag on your side and put the rest over on your opponent's side and really cause problems for them to take that hole away from them and make them have to airmail or roll or try to push through and hope they make a mistake and then you just throw your collect bag right down the middle clip that corner and you're gonna take both bags right in and if you have an opponent who's not used to collecting carpet bags sticky bags if they're not used to that they can very easily kick their bags off left or right and now you you know now and you collect yours in and now you've gained two points or four points or whatever how many bags they kicked off so it really gives you that advantage 
um, if they're not used to playing against a sticky style bag like this. Now, the advantage of having this faster 9 material for the Klex side is, you know, typically bags like this carpet bag or this material have more of a 7-speed fast side, just like the Viking does, just like the Protovanage. That's a really popular 7-speed material on the fast side. The advantage of this 9-speed is if you're not a hard thrower or you don't like throwing harder, you don't have to. This 9-speed material, you can just throw a normal throw, land it up there, and it's going to push right through and take both bags. That's the beauty of having this faster speed material. So if you are a player who likes to play a control game but doesn't like to throw fast or hard, this is an awesome bag for you. This will fit your style perfectly. This is also a great bag for those humid conditions. If you play a lot in humidity, both these materials move and continue to move and they don't really slow down when bags get sticky and damp and with the moisture on there from humidity. In fact, this carpet material actually speeds up a little bit as those boards get sticky and damp. It actually plays a little faster, which is wonderful. It's a great bag to have in your arsenal if you play in those type of conditions or if you're just looking for a bag to have just in case you ever need something for humidity. This bag does that really well. Um, so all in all, the playability of this bag is it, it really, you know, it, I don't know if I mentioned it, but you can shape shots this bag really well. You know, you can throw your cut shots with it. You can throw your flops. You can throw your rolls. This bag does have a little bit of a kick to it. So if you're not a flat bag thrower, if you have a little bit of a tilt one way or the other on your bag, it's going to kick. I've mentioned it before, but this, this is a controllable kick. So if you're consistent with the tilt of your bag, you're going to get a consistent kick and you can play that. It's not a big deal. But that also lends to the ability to, to cut better, right? The, the reason it's kicking is also going to give it more of a cut when you when you intentionally try to throw that angled bag. You're going to get a better cut on there. And I, I actually love this material. This is one of my favorite materials to use when I want to play that cut style game. You know, I, I'm not a big roll or flop player but i love throwing blockers up there and then bringing my next bag and cutting around and leaving that bag and then come through all my you know i said my third or fourth bag and then collect it get my four bags in but at the whole time i've left this bag up and my opponents have to deal with this for their four bags and more than likely it's caused them to miss a shot or two and now i'm getting my points on the on the end of that so i love it for that i love it just for that dirty style control style game this is this is this thing it just is awesome for that I had a lot of fun throwing this back now availability uh for those of you who don't have Facebook or those who complain to me all the time about a lot of these companies that only release bags on Facebook, Rebel has a website, rebelbagco.com. I'll put a link in the description. Now, they do have a Facebook page and they do. There is a fan group on Facebook for them as well. I'll put a link as well to both of those. If you're on Facebook, you want to make sure you like their page and, and jump in the fan group. The fan group's where you're going to find used bags, people wanting to trade bags, you're going to find old style bags. So if you, you know, if you don't like design, you're looking for an older style design, the fan group's where you're going to find it, where you can, you know, buy them from somebody or trade somebody for them. Uh, but if you want to buy the new bags, rebelbagco.com, you want to jump on there, make sure you set up an account and sign up for their email. Um, notifications they send out emails notifying you of when they're doing releases when they're putting bags up there what drops what bags come up next you want to make sure you have a heads up on that i will say the last release that rebel did the last bag they had recently up there they actually didn't have a limited number they put them up there and left them up there for a certain amount of time so you know you didn't have to go jump on and hope you're one of the first 15 30 people on there it was up there if you wanted to order set you go up there order a set and it was really nice. I'm hoping Rebel is going to is going to get more and more inventory up there so they can have more bags available. Because right now the big problem you have is if you want to set up suspects, you got to wait till that's their next release or drop out there. And so it may be a few weeks before that happens. Uh, but it looks like Rebel is trying to work on different ways to make bags more available so it's not such a limited deal trying to improve their supply to meet the demand and i like what they're doing i like the direction they're headed i love the fact they have a website i love the fact that they're starting to make more and more bags available to more of us so it's easier to get them so I, i'm definitely a supporter of rebel uh, i think if you if you get a set of bags i think you're going to love them they make some awesome bags the last set i bought from them was a hundred dollars for the set and it's like nine just under ten dollars for shipping so it's just under 110 dollars all in for the bags it's not the cheapest bag on the market. It's not the most expensive bag. I think they're right in line. They're high quality bags for the hundred ten dollars. I, I think I don't. I wasn't disappointed with it. I don't think you will be either. Definitely rebelbagco.com to get your sets. Go check it out. Make sure you sign up for the email notifications. Set up your account so you get notified when the drops are coming in. Um, and I definitely check them out. I can't. I, I highly recommend Rebel. And I'm looking forward to reviewing some more of their bags coming forward. So thanks guys so much for watching. Thanks for your support. With something deep